Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Hello, everyone. Wow. I have been praising and um, I have tried to do this video a few times and um, it isn't working uh, correctly. So, <laughs> it, it, the Lord must have something really, really good to say. And I know that... Um, yeah, so many, so many, so many people are going through um, just battles. You know, as I say this, I feel, I feel the fire. And I know that um, sometimes it can just be so oppressive that, you know, you really, um, yeah, you, you just can't fight or you, you don't know, you know, what to do. And so, um. I believe the Lord really wants to encourage us with this word. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Um, because, you know, first of all, we're not alone. You know, we are not alone in the things that we are facing. Um, we're all going through something. And I think that, you know, it's been prophesied time and again that this is a time of shaking. And... Um, you know, wherever we are, you know, we're being shook. Yeah, it is at the Lord, it is so Dio. Um, and so I just I I um yeah, I'm gonna go to the word. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Uh I'm starting at Hebrew thirteen verses twenty. Now may the God of peace who brought up our Lord Jesus from the dead, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you complete in every good work to do his will, working in you what is well-pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Yeah, thank you, Jesus. Hated a lot of so deep. Thank you, Jesus. Um, Isaiah 43, 1. But now, thus says the Lord, who created you, O Jacob, and he who formed you, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters... I will be with you, and through the rivers they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, nor shall the flame scorch you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But you know, the fire doesn't feel good, right? And uh, it's not a good feeling when the water starts to come up to your ears, <laughs> right and you don't know what to do um and and it just is it can be too much you know and uh i want to pray thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus lord i thank you that you would use me for this word i thank you that you'd use me to deliver this word lord i thank you that you would use me as a mouthpiece lord I thank you that you would encourage your children, Lord, that you would encourage us and you would give us further instruction and, and you would strengthen us, Lord. I thank you for the reinforcements, the reinforcement and the reinforcements that you're sending out. Lord, we receive the reinforcements. We receive the, the host of angelic help, Lord. And I just thank you that, that you love us, Lord. I just thank you that you have a plan and a purpose <sighs> Amen. for all of the things that we face, everything that we go through, that you are not blind to it, that you are in control, Lord, I thank you. Here I am, Lord, use me. Use me, but remove my wretched flesh and let it be your spirit, your beautiful precious spirit lord that speaks whatever it is you want to say to your children lord whatever it is here i am use me in your holy magnificent name jesus amen 
Ha! When is the Luai? Wow. How does the Lord acquire so deal? Wow, yeah. Um, you know, the Lord spoke to me and he said, reinforcements are on the way. And, you know, I marinated on this for a couple days. Because, you know, sometimes, you know, uh, we get a word, but it's it's like, okay, where are you, Lord? Or, you know, we get a word and we don't really understand it, you know. But I think that what he's saying is angels, that he is sending angelic help. To his children right now in fact you know this is such like we're on this moment where many of you are gonna have you know your comeback season and he said this hallelujah thank you Jesus you know many of you are right on the verge of a comeback season that you may have been destined for and went through so much um, your entire life for this moment where, you know, you begin to see, you know, um, the pouring out of those things that um, you've been longing for, that you've been waiting for. And this is not about material. This is not about, oh, you're going to get a house and a car. But, you know, some people don't have a house. Some people don't have a car. Some people have been toiling and working and waiting and positioned in situations and places that are very uncomfortable. And you are on the verge of your comeback season. You know, the Lord can trust you. The Lord has proven you trustworthy. And don't get it wrong because it's not about what you do. You know, although, yes, what you do is so critical. But it is about your heart. Because why? Because sometimes we get it wrong. <laughs> sometimes we, um, we make mistakes, right? Sometimes we, um, we could never measure up to His grace. Mm, thank you, Jesus. This is like a time where He is truly releasing this level of grace and mercy on many of your lives. And it is, it is costly in the way that you will go through things to be molded and shaped for this grace, for this mantle, you know. Um, Yes, I hear you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Um, there is a mantle that has been coming upon many of your lives. Um, and this is like the moment before it just breaks through. So many things are just breaking through. But it's a, a time where many are going through painful things. Um, sickness. Losing people. Um, letting things go letting people go and the lord spoke to me about this he said you know he's making it obvious for some of you um what you need to do next you know um he may not have given you instruction on how but he will but he has told you you know for for sure something maybe you were wondering about um a person maybe that you were concerned with and and maybe you know a move um, but he, he's confirmed it to you through this opposition, through what has looked like a setback, through this, um, this warfare. And I just want to encourage you that you're not alone in this. You know, there's a shaking and you're not alone in it, but we know that, you know, when the Lord wants to rebuild you, right? When he has put so much effort and time into rebuilding you, right? He's also got to remove. <laughs> you know, and this is a point my sister made on a video. And it just hit me so strongly. You know, she's so wise, this woman of God. She's so wise. But it just hit me so strongly. Like, wow, you know, yes. You know, oftentimes we think of receiving from God, right? And receiving, you know, more knowledge, more grace, more, you know, whatever we may need. But we don't maybe think of what he's removing. You know, and so you think about being born again. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You think about being born again. You know, think about that. 
the old has passed away. <laughs> Behold, all things are new. <laughs> I mean, that is just one verse, but not so simple. You know, you think about, wow, old things, all things are new, you know. And so, yeah, the Lord has to reshape us. And this is a time for many um, where you're just under this, this, this refining, you know, and you know, you, you are brand new and you've been made to be just so different. You know, you're born again in the spirit. You don't walk in the flesh, right? You are a spiritual being. And yet there's this moment of refining. There's this time of refining that the Lord is allowing, I believe, the body of Christ to go through um, in different ways. Um, but it is just such a level of opposition right now. You know, yes, I hear you, Lord. You know, he says, you will get your joy back. You will get your fire back. You will get your fight back. In fact, it will be greater. So I prophesy to you right now. There's a new level of joy coming to you in Jesus' name. There's a new level of fire coming to you in Jesus' name. There's a new fight coming to you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Because, see, you know, every time that you are about to have a major breakthrough, you know, um, <laughs> warfare breaks out. You know, so... I want to encourage you, if you are going through, you know, the fire and the water and it just seems like one thing after another and, you know, um, and I've had my times where I'm like, Lord, you know, I want my fire back, you know, and I remember <laughs> often, you know, you, you'll pray that and then you'll think, wow, you know, I'm not going to get my fire back. It just, it feels like it's nowhere to be found and then boom, here it comes, but stronger than it was because, you know we go through these things for his glory you know and we go through these things for a purpose he doesn't waste it he never would want us to go through um hardships and and you know discouraging things and you know painful things and losses and you know i mean some people you you've got to think about you know where the world is right now and just imagine i hear you Thank you, Jesus. Just imagine that you didn't have Jesus. Just and there's some people, hello, what is deal, that don't have that assurance. They don't. They don't really know Him. You know, maybe they want to, um, or maybe they just don't believe. You know, um, but imagine, you know, what the world is facing right now. I mean, as children of God, we can go through these things and we can just endure them and we know, you know, God's in control and we know, you know, it's all working for the good and, you know, we know, right? But imagine that you don't have the Lord, you know, and the Lord's really been speaking to me today about that, you know, and just the fact that there is a hurting world that doesn't have that assurance, you know, and and the thing of it is, is we go through these specific situations um, in order to help someone else. Or even, you know, I've noticed this with the Lord. He's so strategic even to be in just the right mind frame in order to minister to somebody. You know, such as um, if your level of joy was just off the charts and you were just, whoa, right? Maybe somebody who was really sad and depressed wouldn't maybe receive what you had to say or your, you know, your words of encouragement. Maybe you wouldn't even have the right words because you would be just so ecstatic and overjoyed or you know maybe if they didn't see you with tears in your eyes or they didn't hear you say yeah i'm facing things too that they wouldn't you know really um believe in what you had to say or believe that you know sometimes and this is true that you know 
<laughs> we walk around and you know we just have this hope right <laughs> and we do thank you jesus you know we just have this hope and this joy and um this peace and and so it can it can leave people to say man that's just not real you know that's just not real that's just not but oftentimes god will put us in these battles <laughs> um to show himself strong in someone else's life to to you know leave us in a position where we can really minister to them and they'll be in a place to receive it you know i hope that makes sense thank you jesus but, you know this is a time for many of you where it's your comeback season you're on a cusp of you know comeback and you know the lord has given you and done many things for you you know um and shaped you and guided you and molded you and yet it's almost like you know this is like a a transition to a season of greater release you know and make no mistake this is about the kingdom of heaven this is about soul winning this is about um you know ministries and families and all of these things but you know sometimes we 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 think we got it right you know and um there he is to kind of shape us and mold us and so i feel like what he's saying is this is a time where yes he is allowing these great you know shakings and this great um you know warfare to come um but we've got to rise up you know and he's teaching us to war even greater um even even stronger right this is a time where he is giving strength to the weak i mean hallelujah thank you jesus you know just check this out you know he gives i'm sorry isaiah 40 uh 29 he gives power to the weak <laughs> and to those who have no might he increases strength even the youths shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Yeah, hallelujah. It's so much right there. And you know... I've read it so many times, but last night it really hit me. It was just like, wow, I don't know. You know, the revelation that just pops in your face, it's a beautiful thing, you know, and no matter what we face, we know that, you know, we have God on our side, you know, and the thing that it, that is happening is, you know, the enemy has made so much darkness look like light. The enemy has made so much wrong look like right. And the Lord was speaking to me today about how he's so afraid that, you know, he's on the verge of being exposed. And not just in, you know, the the, the news or the, you know, the, the large realms, which that as well, but also in our own lives, right? So there's so many that um you know i mean the enemy likes to make you look bad the enemy wants to make a child of god look evil the enemy wants to get others to talk about you point their finger you know um and and you know sadly oftentimes because he comes as a worker of light people believe the lies right and the lord was speaking to me today about how vindication is our portion in this hour and how in this coming season this transition period you know building up to the year of double you know it really is um thank you jesus we are going to see where the light shines in those dark places and those those lies are going to be exposed and people are going to be found out for who they really are because here's the thing even if you love them right when people are judging in a way where they're pointing fingers and they have bad things to say um especially when it's not true you know um woe to them 
okay they are wrong and I'm gonna go even further to say this you know and we all have a part in this because the tongue is so wild and it's it's hard to tame but it's possible with God you know when someone is wrong okay we have no right to put our mouths on them okay well this person did you know well she you know did you know and did you know and did you know and you know we need to really be in a place where um, not only do we not say it but that we don't even want to hear it you know the Bible says when we listen to those things we're a liar so when we listen to gossip even just listening to what someone has to say about another person we become um, <laughs> wrong in the eyes of God you know in that moment we have begun to create a problem for ourselves in the spiritual realm and eventually it will come out you know now we can't stop other people from from talking about other people we can't stop other people from talking about us you know we can't um, in fact you know Jesus said <laughs> You know, uh, woe to you when they all think good of you. You know, um, in this world, you know, people are going to hate you. You know, you will be persecuted for my name's sake. You know, and so I really think that part of this opposition that we're facing is for all of us to come to this realization that, you know what, it doesn't matter. I could do right, I could do wrong. It's not good enough for so and so. Um, you know, and I believe that for each of us there may be a person there or maybe a group, you know what I mean? And you come to realize in this walk that nobody understands you like God. Nobody really um, is aware of your heart. Nobody really sees your motives like God does. And people misjudge. And oftentimes they... Um, they think they know you know they believe they've heard from god you know um and that's another thing the lord said thank you jesus yeah this is a time where he is really magnifying um the difference so you know we hear from the enemy right we hear from god right and he he, he told me for many of you he's giving you a better ear to hear when it is him and to cast down satan you know, when, when Satan comes with the the distraction and the, the chatter, you know, this is a time where he's coming with lots of chatter. You know, but God is using this to train you, you know, to know his voice better, to cast down those imaginations, you know, because um, we all are different, right? We've all been through different things. And the enemy knows. He knows what we've been through. And so he plays off of, you know, our, you know, different personalities and different struggles and different situations. And this is why the Bible says to have the mind of Christ, you know. Um, sometimes, yes, Lord, sometimes you can be in the Bible every day and you can be reading and you can be praying um, and things just aren't breaking. You know, and I, I believe for many, many of you, that is the place you're in right now. And I just want to encourage you that, yeah, hallelujah, he's splitting the sea. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. You know, he is doing those impossible things. And also, he is training you to be more humble. He is training you to be more loving. He is training you to serve anyway even when they talk bad about you to forgive them and to continue for him you know he is training us and i believe that it's like what he said is you know um yes lord thank you jesus it's like a a major stretching going on before release because he wants to guarantee that you can handle this you know and it is a comeback season for many of you Thank you, Jesus. Yes, the enemy is so afraid of this comeback. You know, he's so afraid um, to be made a fool of. Okay, because let's keep it real. 
Some have counted you out. Some have 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 counted you as a loss. Some have said that you would never make it. Some have said that you would never be anything. Some have said that you would never make anything out of your life or go anywhere but God. But not only has he take taken you from the from the clay, you know, from the miry clay and he's he's molded and he's shaped you into something so beautiful that he has no choice but to display now this is for his glory and so this is why we go through these things this is why we face these trials and this opposition because he has to be sure that you are prepared to be revealed you know wow thank you jesus you know and he is sending new people to pray with you and for you he is sending you know I saw angels and this is you know I just kept seeing um you know just like out of the corner of my eye actually a person standing like in different places like literally you know if we could only see you know everything going on you know and that's the thing he said as well you know right now there's so much that he's doing for you you know often in those times where we don't see anything he's doing something right but in those times where we are just facing so much pain anguish warfare opposition um battle weariness he's doing it big and this is a time where you know um yeah he's doing so much for you and it's gonna be revealed it's a comeback season for you you're transitioning into a comeback season you know into a time where you know all of the warfare and all of the years of prayer and all of the opposition that you faced and the dedication and the times you've fallen even in dedication you've gotten back up in the you know the the molding and the shaping as you've listened to his spirit and as you've called on him you know um it's for this it's for this comeback season and yeah it's just the beginning you know um yeah you see the the darkness is covering the earth and we know that jesus is soon to return but in the meantime in the meantime god is going to use you as a remnant army he's going to use you um just in the average everyday things you know it, it often we assume that it's it's got to be something big but you know our, our greatest ministry is our family our home our children um those at our jobs you know just the simple every day you know opening the door for somebody smiling you know you would be amazed at the ministry you can have in those small things you know and um for many of you 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 found joy in these small things and he's going to release greater things you know because um because it is a time where the remnant shines it is a time of of darkness you know and i want i want to make this clear that this level of shaking is going to continue um now obviously from glory to glory he's going to give us strength he's going to give us um everything we need um but these shakings are going to continue because he is trying to get the world's attention and he is using you to do it and so he has to be sure that you are um continuing to be shaped into the image of jesus you know but this is a breakout season. This is a breakthrough season. This is a comeback season. And I believe that, you know, this season is going to begin in the next few months, you know, where things are just going to kind of all come together for some of you. And it's just going to make sense. You're going to understand why, 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 you know. And I I challenge you to... to um, Ask God what he's doing when you don't know. You know, sometimes we don't know. You know, ask God for further instructions. You know, ask him for directions. You know, um, 
focus on Jesus and what God is doing and don't give the enemy any room in your life in your flesh you know the less you give him the less he has to work with and keep in mind that he's still gonna figure out a way through other people through other things through situations but we can count it all joy when we know that Jesus is coming and we'll be with him you know and not just that but that every moment until then we are a walking testimony of who he is and I encourage you with that you know that's something to really examine ourselves you know what is it that we represent you know do we truly represent him and I believe that we never truly do 100% because we're not in heaven you know but I also believe we become more and more like him if 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 we continue in the spirit if we continue in the discipleship of the word in the washing of the word in the in the spirit you, know, you could read the Bible 50 million times without the spirit of God uh, um, washing you it's it's no point you know so just be encouraged be encouraged you are not alone in this battle you're not alone and um, I'm always praying for you and I know that God has strategically put so many people in place to pray for me to pray for you to to pray you know and this is truly a time where um, so many are seeking out answers you know they they're they're hurting there's you know situations in their life that are hard and that they don't know what to do they don't have the answers for maybe um, God hasn't given them an answer you know but be encouraged that he's in control you know he has Satan on a leash and so this is why I say ask the Lord what he's doing you know it very well may be and it is sometimes in my life you know when I say God you know what is it that you're doing or what do you want and he'll show me something about myself you know we're so quick in this human nature to point our fingers and to you know well look at and I'm sure sometimes people are just wrong they are they're so hurtful because they they don't have Jesus in their heart or you know whatever but um oftentimes there's something within us that needs to change there's something with us that needs to be fixed that needs to be um, resurrected or you know remolded you know and God will do it but we have to be willing to submit and we definitely can't think that we know all the answers because we don't we really don't you know we can do our best but we do not have all the answers but he does and he's always there with us you know so I just want to encourage you that reinforcement is coming reinforcement is coming and God is sending angelic hosts to help you you know you can um, you can message me um, you can email me um, from murder to grace at gmail.com you can you know message me on messenger if you need prayer um, I never repeat it I just don't I know God won't you know he never does and that's another thing you know stop going to people so many people with your problem that just thinking that one of them is gonna have an answer because they're not and what you're doing is you're creating more warfare for yourself you know I get it that we want to vent and we want to you know let it out um but God is the answer he's the one to go to first okay he is um, people do not have the solutions they don't they can pray with you um they may even give you some godly advice you know I'm not saying don't ever go to people but go to God first and pick the right people and watch your words 
oftentimes we're creating warfare for ourselves because there's power of life and death in our mouths it's one or the other you know there's no in between and I say that a lot but it's true you know um, we got to stop with the fleshly imaginations and works because they never end up good you know and so um, yeah ask God what he wants from you ask him what he's doing in this time you know Lord Jesus I thank you Jesus for this word I thank you Jesus for all those that will come under the sound of my voice in this word Lord I ask that you give us strength Lord that you give us guidance Lord that you give us some relief Lord that you send those angels that you give us that joy, that you give us that peace, that you give us everything that you promise, Lord, that you would show us what you're doing, Lord, that you would guide us into this new thing, that you would open our eyes where we don't see, that you would open our ears where we don't hear, Lord, that you would be with us through it all, that you would be with us to give us the strength we need to get through these things, Lord. That you would give us solutions. That you would give us answers. That you would give us strategies to fight the enemy. Yeah, in your mighty, holy, precious name, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah, yes. And if you believe it, you know, here he comes to move mountains, right? <laughs> if we only believe. You know, it all comes down to faith. It does. It all comes down to faith. And he who endures to the end shall be saved. We don't know when the end is, but we know it's looking like the Bible is playing out. Right? So just endure like good soldiers. And he will strengthen you in due time. I love you all. Be encouraged. Be blessed in Jesus' name. He is the blessing. Till the next time. Thank you, Jesus.